Hi everybody, Pepper again, and uh, this is what I've been working on. Uh, as you can see, um, this is my map for a portion of my world. Uh, my world is substantially larger than this map shows, but it's mostly undeveloped, so it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> this behind the map is uh, a little redstone uh, fun. You know, not, not much, just a little, um, three little slidey things here. Uh, turns my beacons on and off. Little stained glass on the top to uh, give them a little more color. And here is, um, oop, as you can see, uh, Tree Achievement City is right there. And we are right here and back there. There's a Colosseum mushroom, which is right there. And this is the mini game that we're going to be checking out today. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty large mini game. Uh, relative, actually. Could even. <laughs> there's Tree Achievement City, and there's the mini game we're checking out. So it could fit a large portion of Tree Achievement City inside this mini game. Um, but of course, who wants a tiny pool? It is a pool game. This is the uh, water mushroom, and it's uh, one of my giant large mushroom structures in the city here uh, that's on the mainland, and it's got a biodome on the top. It's kind of interesting to check out. I just kind of fell through my diving board there. Um, if you're lucky, you can actually make it... Oh, I made it! into the water and not die horribly uh, from that jump. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty high up there. Um, but I'm going to show you the dugout area uh, for the players. Oh, I almost forgot to let you know, this is the combat resort and spa. Uh, very important, you know, to be able to kick back and slaughter. Um, got a little sign out here. Calm down! My, uh, my player's all over the place. That's my fault, I know. I know, it's my fault, but you don't have to rub it in. I mean, it's rude. Um, so here's the combat resort and spa, a calming setting to resort to copious uh, amounts of violence. Just makes sense. Um, got pain in the butt double doors here, as is my won't. I, uh, I enjoy the pain in the butt double doors. They're just aesthetically pleasing. Um, and we just teleport right through there. And we are in the player dugout area. Now each player has their own player color and their own little um, hotel room. So you can see here, each player has their own tricked out little hotel room based on their color. And a little um, deck area here that actually, I've been toying with the idea to make it easier for you to get up to this area from the deck. Um, but I like the idea of teleporting in that area a little bit more than um, torturing people that are playing my games. I do like a little torture. <laughs> um, but let's see here. Let's go back down to the dugout area. And I'll, uh, see. I'll, uh, spawn some sheep. The problem with most mini games is they're a pain to set back up. And I found that, um, command blocks can really solve any issues that we have with that. So let's spawn some black and white sheep here, just so I can show you. And uh, they spawn across from the black and white players, so that um, nobody really has an advantage uh, in the mini games in that respect. Um, but you can just pop into the pool and kill them. Uh, that'll be part of one mini game. Um, certain color sheep will be worth certain points, and everybody will enter from a, a central point. But I'm going to work on that uh, in the uh, rooms that I'm going to show you in just a few moments. The uh, that will be the um, mm -hmm. what did I call them again? Ah, the selection chamber tower. Yes, <laughs> I'm uh, still learning of my world that as I'm building, um, but this will also um, the ones on the blue here under each player color will actually take you to that player's area. So this will take me to the white player's area. Um, 
which actually is nice because if you're not playing in creative, you can't get over the uh, pool side here. Um, and as you can see, we've got, you know, games that you can play. Uh, we'll have all the uh, supplies already in the chest. This is my uh, more fully developed game that's almost finished. And each player has their own area. You can uh, swim around, you can boat around, you can shear sheep, you can fish. You can do a whole plethora of things in this little area. So it's just a nice little multi-purpose uh, boating and swimming and water park arena sort of area. Um, but at the end of the day, you want to get back to your um, hotel room. My, that's far away at this point because it's a big arena. Just there you are. Voila, back home. We've got uh, potions that will help you out throughout different uh, different challenges in this area. And a uh, nice little bed for a save point. And if you use up some of your potions, you're free to use more um, of the space in the chest for yourselves. And we'll just go back down here. And of course, if uh, I weren't in creative mode, I would use the actual ladder. And what was I doing over here? something. Ah, I'll figure that out later. So that's this little area and I'll just pop in real quick and show you the kitchen and forge which is for other challenges uh, including meat gathering and stuff that you might you know cross over in between the poolside area and maybe the hunting areas which uh, are not yet built but they are in the conception phases. Um, so as you can see, plenty of furnaces in here, um, plenty of um, plenty of storage, plenty of little um, tricks and stuff back here. If uh, any advantages need to be given for any of the games, and just uh, anvils and all your um, all your little boxes here. So if you need to make anything, got a crafting table, not a problem and sneak out this way and you've already seen the player rooms and everything so let's peek over to what I've actually been working on recently which is the selection the game selection chamber and instruction rooms uh, let's click on that there uh, this is the top of the game selection chamber uh, not much to look at a little laggy on my system here but hey for my system it hasn't been running too bad and uh, let's just uh, see this. This is the maximum pin altitude. You cannot put anything on top of this tower of pins. This is as high as the world gets. 256 blocks. Of course, this tower of pimps is the largest tower of pimps in the world, or at least it's the maximum altitude tower of pimps. Maximum pimp altitude. But, of course, Jeff's big black tower is still the biggest, blackest tower in the uh, land. So let us pop on down to see the game selection chambers because I have been working very hard on them and I'm going to show them off a little. Each chamber um, has its own lanterns, its own uh, game. Uh, it's going to be actually 25 floors high uh, with either four to eight on each floor for games. I'm not sure how many I want to put in there, but uh, it's got plenty of room, I think, to put two games per um, selection room. And everyone has its own little theme and its own colors, and I'm going to match that up with games, so I may fill them, you know, just based on what games I already have. But I wanted to make sure that I had enough... Uh, enough areas built uh, for the current games so that I can start letting people play. Um, let's just go up this way. You can see some of the different levels. This one's not finished yet. I've been working on this one today. Um, the yellow level, yellow and blue level, and um, of course we're going to have to repeat colors. There's just not enough. But each level has its own color theme and I don't know, it just looks really interesting. I like a little quality in my uh, instruction rooms. Um, but that is what I've been working on, and I hope you comment or like or subscribe or have ideas for me or, you know, whatever. 
if you want to um, play Minecraft with me, I might be around. We could set that up. I figured out how to invite people to my server.